overflows the role of master in inner consciousness the role of the master is to give you a glimpse of the real not a teaching but an awakening so that this awakening becomes your own light one day in india this parrot like a speech that the whole world is illusory has gone deep into the mind but in the false center it is not a growth we have heard the upanishads the vedas and this the sages and all other scriptures have been saying for centuries that the world is illusory they have propagated the idea so strongly that those who are asleep and dreaming they think they are awake the whole world is asleep but their misery shows that the world is real their anguish shows that the world is real we live in a world of duality and conflict that is illusion in reality there is no conflict there is no duality everything is supportive of one another the positive and negative the male and female all support one another you live in the dark dark zone of your consciousness the zone where light awakening has not reached yet the awakened one enters your life as light in the dark zone of your consciousness this inner consciousness is only real center of the seeker to attain to this inner consciousness the role of the awakened one is very important the word illusion or maya is not the world of <coughs> maya for you certainly it is very real and the role of the master is to show you that it is not real what you consider as conflict and duality and you consider it as a reality is not real indeed it is real for you so how can you think that it is unreal you can think about unreality only if you have a glimpse of the real only then you can compare this world is not illusory for you you have heard you have read that this world is illusion and you may have memorized it just like a parrot so you also call this world illusory every day someone comes and calls this world illusory and then he says my mind is very much bothered and i am very tense so tell me how to attain to peace and this world is illusory if this world is illusory how can your mind be tense if you have known that this world is illusory then the world will have disappeared and with the world all misery conflict will also disappear but mind is still is and you don't know that this world is illusory in the morning when the sleep has disappeared and with the with that dream also disappears are you worried about dream then are you worried that in the dream you felt 
sick or that you were even dead now even there is there are many who will try to interpret you your dreams and they are considered to be very important persons we all go to the people who interpret dreams in trinidad there was a priest who will conduct a program on the radio understanding your dreams and you call him and he will interpret your dreams according to the symbols but the fact is this when the sleep has disappeared sleep means unconsciousness has disappeared with that dream also disappears and if in the dream you felt ill so you are told that this illness in the dream has been symbolic it indicates something greater uh, incoming problems in your life but because of these people you are in that state of affairs while the dream was there you were worried and sick and you were asking for a doctor for some medicine during the dream but in the morning the moment you are not asleep the dream too has disappeared you are not worried now you know it was a dream and in the dream you were sick but now you are not but what has been infused into you by the fake mechanism that the dreams are indication of something and you must get someone to interpret your dreams if someone comes to an awakened one and says i know that it was a dream that i was sick but now tell me something where am i going to get the medicine to get over that sickness that i felt during the dream it will show that he is still asleep he is still in the dream state it will show that he is still dreaming and is in a dream like state the dream is still there this parrot like speech that the whole world is illusory has gone so deep into our minds but in the false center it is not a growth we have heard the upanishads the scriptures and sages saying for centuries that the world is illusory they have propagated the idea so strongly that those who are asleep and dreaming they think they are awake the whole world is asleep but their misery shows that the world is real their anguish shows that the world is real therefore the role of the master is to give you a glimpse of the real not a teaching he is not giving you any teaching he is simply showing you the glimpse of the real but an awakening the master is not a teacher indeed he is an awakener he has not to give you any doctrines if he gives you a doctrine he is a philosopher if he talks about the world as illusory and argues and proves that the world is illusory if he discusses debates if he intellectually gives you a doctrine 
he is not a master he may be a teacher a teacher of a particular doctrine but he is not a master he is not awakened awakened will listen to your misery and problems and mystically try to help you see the reality a master is not the one who gives you a doctrine he is the he gives you methods techniques that will help you to come out of your sleep it is not illusion he allows you to come out he allows you to come out of your sleep that is why master is always disturber of your dreams he disturbs your dreams certainly it is difficult to live with a master it is very easy to live with a teacher because he never disturbs you instead he continues accumulation of knowledge he helps you to be more egoistic more and more knowledgeable he makes you more knowledgeable egoistic ego is more fulfilled now you know more and you can argue more you can argue very intelligently you can teach yourself but a master is there always to disturb you he will disturb your dream state he will disturb your sleep you may have been dreaming a beautiful dream you may have been on a trip a beautiful trip he will disturb it you will be angry with him a master is always in danger from his disciples any moment they can kill him because he is going to disturb Gurdjieff's disciple Ospensky wrote a book which he dedicated to Gurdjieff and he wrote in very unusual dedication dedicated to the disturber of my sleep master disturbs you from your sleep he is always in danger from his disciples any moment they can kill him because he is going to disturb that is what his work is he cannot help you to be yourself as you are because you are false he has to destroy your false identity that you have considered as your reality it is painful that is why unless there is a very deep love the work is impossible so those who have been in the company of an awakened one they are there because of a of deep a state of deep love a very deep intimacy that is needed otherwise hate will be there so a master cannot allow you to be near him unless you have surrendered otherwise you are going to be an enemy and unless there is a deep intimacy between you and your master you cannot stay around only with your total surrender can a master work within you because it is the surrender is the beginning of a spiritual surgery surrender is the beginning of a spiritual surgery and there has to be trust and intimacy enough for now